Now an update this morning on the IRS scandal. NBC News has learned several top officials at the agency requested information on conservative groups expanding the scope beyond the IRS's Cincinnati office. That includes at least one letter with the signature of the agency's suspended director, Lois Lerner. Jay Sekulow, the attorney representing more than two dozen conservative groups that applied to the IRS for tax-exempt status, believes the agency was engaged in a coordinated and deliberate attempt to silence the group, saying, quote, We've dealt with 15 agents, including tax law specialists from four different offices, including the Treasury Department in Washington, D.C. So the idea that this is a couple of rogue agents in Cincinnati is not correct. And Jay, who is the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, joins us now. Jay, uh, does this go higher Morning. up as well as broaden out? Well, it, we know it went high as far as as far as level of review because uh, Lois, I've got letters signed by Lois Lerner to our client. In fact, 15 letters from Lois Lerner. And as you mentioned, Mika, there are we have at least four offices that we've been dealing with over the last year and a half. And another myth that's out there, and Jay Carney keeps saying this, and I, I you almost feel horrible for him because I'm sure he's getting his information for somebody. But saying that the letters stopped and the the, the approach stopped in May of last year, we received a letter. Uh, just May 6th of this year with more intrusive questions from one of our clients. That is not a Tea Party group, but they've been caught up in this net of uh, conservative organizations, and they were asking them for the copies of the curriculums they utilized and the students that they met with. So this continues the harassment. It is harassment. When you're going on three years, it's, it's harassment. I worked for the Office of Chief Counsel uh, for the Internal Revenue Service right out of law school. It was a long time ago. Uh, so I knew when they said this was rogue agents and, and a rogue office, so to speak, that that was incorrect on two fronts. One, Cincinnati's the largest tax-exempt mm. processing office in the country. Number two, two rogue agents couldn't have uh, initiated what was initiated here. We know that, of course, from the now uh, administrative leave leader of the tax-exempt group, Lois Lerner. But I suspect it goes higher than Lois Lerner. I, 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 I'm not going to say, as some have, have projected, that it goes right into the White House. We do know the White House counsel. <laughs> and chief well, of staff were aware of the inspector general's report coming out and that there was in fact an investigation i think they were a little bit too clumsy in the approach that they took in trying to get ahead of the report and i think that actually made matters worse for him but this is a deep uh, problem a serious problem the apology was a planted question and i think it's just gotten from bad uh, to worse we're actually filing I'm, i've got a joel appreciate this about a inch thick complaint that's being filed in U.S. District Court today on behalf of 25 groups. It'll probably be amended next week to add another dozen or so. So I think it's going to be the federal courts that are going to make the determination, of course, with congressional oversight. Okay, so a couple of things. You've used the word harassment. You said you're, you're not suggesting this goes higher than Lois Lerner, but just give me in one line here what you are suggesting. Well, I'm suggesting that the, the White House no, knew there was a problem. Uh, with the agency's approach because the deputy treasury secretary was aware of it uh, the white house council was aware of it uh, and uh, the chief of staff was aware of the problem so it goes higher than lois lerner i, I don't think she's going to be the only person involved in this the problem is mika that this has been going on for almost three years uh, and nobody by the way has been denied now one application that we've been involved with has been denied it just went there would be periods of six or eight months where you'd have no communication from the IRS they wouldn't even respond to a question so the, you had institutional incapacity uh, going on inside the IRS and I think that is uh, made the problem even worse but this right. was serious targeting they acknowledged mm -hmm. that uh, the FBI is now doing a criminal investigation so I mean think about this for a moment we've got the FBI investigating the IRS we now have federal lawsuits uh, being filed against uh, the IRS. We've got four offices, it was not just Cincinnati, we've been involved with four offices with uh, multiple agents, uh, including letters, as I said, from uh, Lois Lerner. And we know that the White House counsel was aware of the situation. They were trying to figure out how best to get ahead of the situation when the Inspector General report was coming out. We also know the Inspector General's report was not an investigation, it was an audit. They did not ask questions of the White House as they didn't have that jurisdiction. So I don't think we even know the tip of this iceberg right. uh, that is out there right now. And I'm afraid, and Republicans and Democrats are rightly outraged 
about the way this is going and in the way it's been handled. The president said he was outraged, but uh, right now the only person we had, an, we had an acting commissioner that was leaving in a month. He, he left a month early, so to speak, and we've got Lois Lerner placed on administrative leave. There's got to be a lot more direct action taken here. Uh, and, of course, the federal All courts right, are now in it, so there will be this morning when we file. Great. Thank Jay, you so much, Jay. Thank you We, we appreciate you being here. So they're actually going to file something in the courts. Of